Setting up a welcome email drip campaign is something every digital marketer will eventually need to do. It can help build authority and trust in your brand and also improve engagement as well. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a basic welcome email series using MailChimp. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. You know how to do that, don't you? Uh, don't forget to check out the complimentary podcast as well called Not Another Marketing Podcast. Uh, there's links to that and lots of other things in the description. There's also a link to my on-demand video training course on email marketing, which is very affordable, you know. Uh, it's, it's kind of designed for freelancers and marketing folk. There's two and a half hours of videos, there's checklists and tips on copywriting and writing subject lines and segmenting your mailing lists and a lot, lot more. Check that out uh, in the description. Right, let's get on with this then. Okay, let's very quickly talk a little bit about what a welcome drip campaign is. Uh, it kind of starts off right at the beginning as somebody doing something, like being added to a mailing list or buying a product, or if you run a charity or a non-profit, they might make a donation. So there's something which actually happens right at the beginning. Uh, sometimes these welcome drip campaigns are called onboarding. OK, so somebody does something, they buy something, they donate, they join your mailing list and then a series of emails are kind of staggered out to them and sent out to them uh, over a period of time. So, for example, if they were making a donation to uh, your non-profit or your charity, for example, you could then send three or four emails out over a period of, of a few weeks and kind of explain how that money is used. Another example is if you're, say, a company who sells a certain type of product, you might want to send two or three emails out in a series over a period of time to kind of let people know how they can use that particular product better. So there's lots of reasons why you might want to use some sort of welcome campaign. And it always starts off right at the beginning uh, with somebody doing something. So they're kind of like added to a list. They might buy something from you and your shopping cart adds them to a list. They might donate. So your payment processor might add them to the, the list in MailChimp. But somebody is kind of added to a list. Then what they would do is, is get a an instant welcome email. So it's kind of like welcome. Thank you very much for doing whatever you've done, buying the product, donating, joining the mailing list, uh, uh, signing up to my newsletter. Thank you very much. And it's, it's like a, a very friendly welcome email. Then maybe you would send out three days later another email that reinforces things. So, for example, if you're a charity or non-profit, you might end up wanting to kind of tell people, uh, how you spend the money, which they've just donated. If you're an organisation or you're doing this for generating leads or a company, for example, it might be case studies uh, that you send them. And this is how we've been successful for various different companies, for example. Then you might want to send another email out, say, a week later, doing a similar sort of thing, reinforcing the authority and the brand and making people feel welcome and, and, and keeping them on that mailing list, uh, making sure that they get some value out of it so that they learn something and they're interested in, in kind of what you're sending them. And then maybe a week later you send them another email and you can go on and on and on. But you wouldn't, wouldn't want to go on and on and on because it'd get a little bit boring then. So that's the basic idea of a welcome drip campaign, an onboarding campaign. Somebody does something, they buy something, uh, they donate, they join your mailing list, they get a welcome email. A few days later, they get another email. A week or two later, they get another email. Another week later, they get an email. So let's put this into practice. OK, let's plan out a, a basic uh, welcome email drip campaign using MailChimp. Uh, if you pay for MailChimp and you have a plan, then you get access to their customer journey planner thingy, which is very cool, to be honest with you. Uh, it's very powerful. You can do all sorts of things and automate your mailing list and your emails. It's very cool. And if you're looking at doing some serious automation, I would definitely look at paying MailChimp so you can do that because it is pretty powerful. So check out the plan details. I'll leave a link in the description to, to MailChimp. So what we're going to do is at the top right hand corner, we're going to create a journey. And you do need the, uh, the paid plan to be able to use this properly. So we're going to give this a name. We're going to say, oh, let's do fancy welcome email. There we go. And we're going to choose the my test list again. There we go. And we're going to start building. Okay, so how will your contacts start their journey? 
Right, what's the trigger? And we know what the trigger is, don't we? The trigger is somebody is kind of joining your list. So we're going to choose a starting point and signs up. You can include imported contacts. So if you import people from spreadsheets, they can get included into this workflow as well. Let's save the starting point. Then it gets very fancy, doesn't it? We have like a little flow chart up here. So they sign up to the audience, okay? Could be via sign up form on the website, buying a product, whatever it is. There's the trigger. Okay, so what we want to do now is to send an email. OK, pretty much immediately. So we're going to click send email. We're going to drag it over to here and we can click on it and we can we can basically then design our email. OK, so you click on select a template here and you can you can pick your template and start desi designing your email. You can also use a previous campaign template as well. So it's something that you've already said and sent in the past. Uh, but that's pretty much how you kind of set up uh your first initial email. So we're going to close that. Now we want to wait a little bit. We're going to have a little bit of a delay. So we're going to drag over time delay here and we're going to delay for three days. Save. So we've set a delay. We then want to send another email. So we drag over this email to here. And then again, we can open this up and we can select a template. We can use a previous email that we've sent and we can create the email that we want to send out. Close that. Uh, we then want to uh, delay again. And we're going to delay. Yeah, that's good. We want to delay for one week before we send the next one out. So we then send our next email. And again, we open it up and we design the email. We're happy with that. Then what we do is we stick in another time delay for one week and then send an email like so. Uh, this is a paid this is the paid version of, of MailChimp. So you do have to have a plan to be able to kind of activate this within this fancy thing. What it does give you the chance to do is add some more advanced automations to your welcome series if you want to. So for example, you can kind of wait until somebody's clicked on something before they send another email. You can uh, send people emails based on if they haven't clicked the previous email. You can do all sorts of things. So that's probably for another video. We're just looking at a basic uh, welcome drip campaign. So here, here it is. They sign up to the audience, they get an email, we wait for three three days, get another email, we wait for a week, they get another email, we wait for a week, and they get another email. And then that's the end of the workflow. So this is pretty much how you set up this fancy welcome email drip campaign uh, using MailChimp. OK, so that's about it. Um, have some fun with this. Uh, practice, play with it. Set up a little test audience, a test list in MailChimp with just yourself and maybe one or two other people on it. And then kind of build a little drip campaign and try it out and see how it actually works for yourself. That's probably the best way to do it. Uh, and remember to add some value to the emails that you send out. You know, excite people, make them interested, build authority, build trust, you know, give people something that they want. Make their lives better if you can from these emails. Don't forget to check out all the resources in the description. Lots and lots of links in there for you to check out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe as well so you get videos automatically sent to you. Uh, thanks for watching.